Hey guys, this is Miss Momo, and I want to welcome you to my classroom. Hey guys, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what I have up in my classroom. Right now, we're panning to what you see when you first come into the classroom. I have lots of student stations, student lab stations, and this is the first time I've ever had so many lab stations. And it's really feeling like a science classroom. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I didn't have a science classroom last year. I love the plenty of drawer space that we have. Unfortunately, I don't teach chemistry this year, so I won't be using half of the materials. On this bulletin board, I have, I call it my informational board. I have the word tails, which kind of reinforces how we do lab, how we do graphing. And I also have annotations. SOAR is something that I started with last year, and I really think it keeps with the theme of the classroom. So I'm keeping it again for this year. As we're moving along, we have some student artwork that I have. I have a Science Smarty station, so work that's turned in that is fantastic, I'm gonna put on the board. It's, this is just a little place where I keep my sub plans. This is old chemistry equipment that um, it looks like it's 100 years old. I don't even know if it works, but I definitely won't be using it since I'm not teaching chemistry this year. The door that we're passing um, actually is a door that transitions from my classroom to my uh, partner teacher's classroom. Here I have um, just some vocabulary terms that the kids made the first few weeks of school that we put up, more drawer space. I have crates this year to keep the student work in, so that's what, I, that's what you see. Right here I have my iPad tubs. These are borrowed from the library. We were going to do something with the iPads. However, the day I was shooting this video, I found out that I had to return back to jury duty, so I didn't even do that lesson with the kids yet. But we're gonna pan in a little closer. I have uh, just crates. I spray painted the crates, um, my daughter and I did. And as you can see, we didn't do a fantastic job, but it's the thought that counts. The board that you're looking at now, I call it my affirmation statement board. You can see the word affirmation statements. It's just things that students should focus on saying to themselves to keep them in the right frame of mind. Some of them, um, I am a good student, I can make good choices, etc. So we're panning to the other side of the room. Again, I have my poorly spray painted crates and I, you can see the signs of where the kids can put their work. I have just a little reminder of how the, how the kids are supposed to work when we are working in groups. The door you're seeing, that ugly olive green door, that is a storage closet. That's the other exit out of my room. Here I have the big source sign to emphasize what I expect for them in class and how I am grading the students. This is the teacher's area. And there goes my baby bag slash uh, teacher bag. And that's that wonderful cart that I struggle so hard to put together. And you have my microwave, refrigerator, and storage. All that white stuff you see, I have a chalkboard. I don't have <laughs> anything else to write on except for a chalkboard. So that is chalk dusting. And that is my organization st station. There goes my baby. Hi, Kimmy. And that is my teacher planner for the year. There you go, the wonderful, wonderful chalkboard. Ugh, well, there's nothing I can do about it. I dust it off every couple of days and then from writing the dust, the chalk dust gets on it. This is something I showed in a video about a year ago of how I spray painted and created that. Not created it, but designed it. And if you would like to see it, I'll link that in the video description above. And the tabs take a break. I will also link that to a previous video. Okay, 
So that's it. That's my classroom tour for the 2018-2019 school year. It is not done by far. It is not complete. This is the first year that I really accepted that a classroom is never finished with the decorations. It's always um, a work in progress because I have student work that I would like to put up and I am not going to put up student work just to fill, it, fill in spaces or fill wall space. So that would be something that would happen naturally as the year goes on. But that's what I have done so far. I hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments, always leave a comment down below. If you uh, are not subscribed to me yet, make sure you do that before you leave my channel. And as always,